What's going on guys? Today I'm in Reesel, North Carolina. I'm gonna be taking you through the Heartland 2. I believe it's my first time taking you through the Heartland 2, but it's a 1658 two module plan. Consists of an optional slash site built front porch. So that means you can go big, small, whatever style you wanna do, whatever finishes you wanna do. Here you're seeing a six by 25 gable style front porch on a full foundation with wood finishes for the pickets, the posts, the steps. You are seeing the windows trimmed with uh, lineals and um, the shutters today, the white gutters and downspouts to kind of tie in all the white trim. But um, I've talked about it before, but the Heartland series plans, there's a one, two, three, and four, and then they have a bigger brother, which is the one, two, three, and four XL. They are all kind of based off of the same kitchen, dining, living room space. So although you've kind of seen um, similar floor plans as the one I'm gonna do today, they, they, you know, that same floor plan comes in different square footages, different options, but you're gonna see the three bedroom, uh, two bath with a living room and a den today. So let's get in here and take a look. Nice size front porch up here. Right. And our uh, in-house service team is actually here right now. So if you see him, just bear with me. Got your nice big primary living room here. You are seeing the nine foot ceilings. I think it's about a $2,400 option to put the nine foot ceilings into the Heartland plans. There's your front door there. The Heartland series uh, does come with four recessed lights in the living room along with the central light, which is wired and braced for a ceiling fan. Here's that Heartland kitchen, which is uh, used across the board in all the Heartland plans. Real nice size island there. You've got a nice little coffee uh, nook area there where all his uh, working supplies are. Um, in this particular plan, they start you with the range hood over the range. You can option in the mounted microwave. You are seeing an example of the 12 inch backsplash there um, along with the granite countertops and the 50-50 uh, farmhouse sink with the Really nice faucet there. So really in this kitchen, uh, this customer spent money on the backsplash, the countertops, and the white cabinets. White cabinets are a thousand dollar option really across the board in all the nationwide product. Off of that kitchen, you've got the utility room. So you'll notice in a lot of your Heartland series plans, this utility room is actually the walk-in pantry and the utility room is either side loading or just in a different location, um, which you've seen videos of that as well. But um, usually when you option in the fourth bedroom, this turns into the um, utility room so they can accommodate for that fourth bedroom. You just need to go on the website and kind of study the Heartland series plans, but any plan besides the Heartland 3 or the Heartland 3 XL uh, will use the will use this area as kind of the make or break deal if it can accommodate the fourth bedroom. So um, got your dining space there. Customer option in the sliding glass door. And down this hallway, you're gonna find two bedrooms, a secondary full bath. Bedroom two. And 
and bedroom three. And then here is that flex room. So this is the room here that obviously you're seeing it used as a secondary den. It can be a fourth bedroom, or you can go to a larger side loading utility room, a little bit bigger dining space, and then that turns into the walk-in pantry because your utility room is now going to be really big and off the side, okay? You'll see what I mean as you study them. Um, all right, so we're gonna go across the main space back into that uh, master retreat or master suite, I guess. And your Heartland series plans, uh, obviously the master bedroom size will vary depending on the plan, but the overall layout and the way it functions kind of remains the same. You've got your master closet there, master bath there, um, good size closet. More storage there. Okay, and then your master closet. So this is the included bathroom layout, a 60 inch fiberglass shower, a really nice size linen closet, a double vanity, um, you know, with two sinks and all that. Um, you've seen, I think you've seen all three. So what you can do is you can go 60 inch shower, whether you add tile or not, you can op option in the garden tub. You can go the four by six shower with the optional water closet over here, or you can go to the four foot by eight shower, um, which is the largest shower. But with the four foot by eight shower, you do not have the option to do the water closet. So um, the four by six can have the shower ran to about here and then use that space as a water closet. But again, this is the included layout. Um, you could still add tile or whatever to that shower and not, you know, go to the bigger showers or whatever, but um, freestanding toilet, included two panel doors, included hardware there, included countertops, included sinks really no cost, extra cost in this bathroom. Included vanity lights, included mirrors, included hardware on the cabinets. Now, like I said, white cabinets are a thousand dollars for the entire house, along with the light gray, which you've seen as well. There is a gray stone, a darker gray, or kind of a medium gray that's 500 for the whole house, and then a pepper color, which is dark, um, darker than that which is included, so I'll show you this main space one more time. Wanted to show you, I always end my videos on the inside, so I wanted to show you the outside one more time. I wanted to touch on the service. I mentioned we had our in-house service team uh, here today. Um, one of the biggest things about our company is that we offer in-house uh, service. Um, so we don't have to depend on the manufacturers to send their guys out there, which all of my competitors do. Um, as you can imagine, these manufacturers build a ton of houses. So um, what I'm saying is we're gonna have quicker turnaround, we're gonna be better, we're gonna be more prompt. 
um, to service these homes before and after or as you're moving in. So um, if you have any questions, give me a call 336-226-9066. My name is Shields, S-H-I-E-L-D-S. -E Email is shields at nccustommodulars.com. Office number is 336-736. Oh, sorry, 336. Um, what is it, golly? 336-226-9066. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. You guys have a good one. Thanks.